Hi garden friends, happy Monday. So as you can see, I'm playing with sedum burrito. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> trailing succulent. And I will be planting these strands here in a hanging basket. But before I do so, I need to prep these strands. And what that basically means is I have to at least pop half of these leaves off of the stem so I can create a bare stem in order to plant them up. So I'm gonna dive right in. I'm gonna get a container here so I can collect all of these beautiful leaves, obviously, because these leaves here are perfect for leaf propagation. So all of these leaves that I'm gonna pop off, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, fill a tray with soil. I'm gonna place them right on top and they will eventually grow a little baby plant. And the little root here will settle into the soil and grow. So a very easy plant to propagate by leaf. That's always good to know. So like I, like I was saying, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna pop off all of these at least halfway into this container. And they're really easy to pop off. So. They kind of just, you give them a little twist, pop right off. So I'm gonna be a little more rough and not twist them individually, but just grab a bunch and just slightly pull them off. It doesn't take much. And because they're nice and small, short leaves, they don't break in half. So very easy plant to pop off. Very easy leaves to pop off. Okay, so, so I have this bare strand right here. So I'm gonna do that to all of them here. going to be collecting a ton of these leaves. More succulents, right? Oh, this is a big one. Almost there, guys. A few more to go. Oh, and this one is blooming. Check that out. Such beautiful blooms. Oh. Uh-oh, whoopsie, did you see that? I popped the stem off. I was a little too rough. Don't be too rough, not too rough. Only touch the, the leaves, because if you bend this, as you can see, it just broke right off.
almost there perfect so I have two sizes let me get these sleeves here that I've fallen I'm gonna show you I have I have this size right here sorry out of the frames this size and then I have smaller ones like this one and I have to prep these as well so I'm gonna also break these tiny little leaves and hopefully they too will produce some babies and I'll show you why I've prepped smaller ones but let me just finish off Ooh, this one's this one has two babies growing out of it right off the stem Now that I'm done collecting all these leaves, check them out. Mmm, seed and burrito. What a delight. I'm going to make some space for my hanging basket that I have right here, and it's already prepped with soil, and it has a coconut or coconut little bedding here, basket, don't know what it's called actually. But let's see, I'm gonna try and get the best frame so you can see what I'm doing here. And it's a little wobbly, so just bear with me. So, I mentioned that I have these smaller strands. These smaller strands, I'm gonna plant right in the center of the planter just so I can I can fill the entire basket so I just don't want the burrito to hang from the edge I want some in the middle too because I want them to grow and join the party with the trailing party but the center has to be full right so I'm doing the smaller ones right in the center and the longer ones more towards the edge so they can start trailing and they get very heavy I should mention so, if I have to use these little floral pins to kind of pin the strand down, if it gets too heavy, I'll put them in and I'll just pin them down, just like that, for the ones on the edges at least, because I don't want them to just topple over and break, because some of these strands are very, very heavy. So that is something that I should mention. So let's get to planting. So I'm going to start with the smaller, the smaller plants. I'm going to grab my knitting needle here. I'm going to make a hole just so it won't be forced in there. And just settle it in with the soil around it. And because I just cut these this morning. They haven't been cured. They haven't been, I mean, <laughs> they haven't been dried, the stem. So this little seal, it's not dried yet, yet I am planting them. So at the end of this, of this um, video, um, I, should, I should say that at the end of this planting, not, not the end of this video, <laughs> I, won't be, I won't be immediately watering it. Okay, so I'm tripping over my words here. I won't immediately water it because I'm not waiting for the stems to dry for three days. So I'll wait about three, four days. I'll lift this little stem out, make sure that it's nice and dry. And if it is, that is when I will water. If, it, if it's still not sealed completely, where it's not turning brown, then I will wait another few days to water it. I'll check it again and hopefully be able to water it. But it takes about three to four days for that little end of the stem to heal. Okay. 
So I'm gonna keep it going here. You know, I try to make these videos not so long because I know it's a bummer. People don't like to see super long videos, but sometimes they just become long. There's, you know, things to say. So it's not gonna look like much now, but later I'll keep you in the loop. This basket should fill in and just, oh, trail over. If you lose some, some leaves in the process of planting them, don't worry, just leave them there. Some of them just grow babies right there and just root themselves and they just start growing right in the, in the basket. So I'm kind of just filling it out, balancing it out. You want your basket to be balanced, not just the strands right on the edge here. You want it to be full, because eventually it will fill up. And this um, type of succulent, it's a fast grower. done with the center now I'm going to work on the edges here okay so these are very very long strands what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut a little off just to make them slightly shorter so they won't be so top heavy make myself the hole there and you know what I'm gonna do it more towards the center and I'm gonna kind of Keep it slanted like that. And be careful with your other. And keep it like that. And I don't think I'll need the pin, the little floral pin. Let's see. Hold that stem. Maybe it's best to. Maybe it's best to use the pins. So you know what, I'll play it safe and I'll use the pins. So I'm gonna start filling all these holes on the edge, but not, don't do your hole right on the edge, but maybe more towards the center. Hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. Another super long one. So I'm just gonna slightly cut it. I'm gonna grab my pin and I'm gonna gently Tug it in without breaking it. I'm gonna let it hang. I'm gonna grab my pen. And hopefully you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna just hold it together there. Okay. So I'm gonna fit two strands right here. blooming one. So right inside, grab my pin, just pin it into the soil there. Another long strand. Gently just press it in. Don't forget to anchor it down with soil as well. Surround that stem with soil. Oh, this is so much fun. Just love it. The 
that's the one that wasn't pounded. Almost there. so hard to be delicate with these plants. Those little leaves just pop off so easily. Okay, only a few more to go. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this basket will end up looking. Oh, I'm gonna hang it like the side of my house. I need to take more of these leaves off. So bear with me, I'm gonna pop them off. Okay, so that's enough stem right there. I've got four more strands, four more strands. So you see how I give the strand a little space there to lean on the basket? Make sure to do that because if it's all the way at the end, all the way up here, it's just gonna, it's just gonna droop down and it may fall because, you know, they're not rooted yet. Once they root, they can really get top heavy and just spill right over. But right now, they can't really handle it. They can't handle their own weight. Okay, I have three more strands. So I'm just gonna pick out a few more holes here. And this one's really big, so this one's really heavy. So, okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna have to just cut a tiny bit just so it won't hang so much. Whoa, okay. I'm doing good, I think I'm doing good. And I hope you can see how I'm pinning it. So maybe that's a better frame when I pin it. So this is just a regular floral pin. Not sure if you're, um, you know what it is but um, you can find them at Michael's I it's by Ashland found a box of these at Michael's three four bucks so you see the stem there right the stem right here just gonna grab it just like this put it put the stem right in between press right down and you just pin it down don't do it super hard where you sever the stem you know, yeah, don't break the stem off by pinning them down. Okay, two more strands. Holy moly, this is, this is just beautiful. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put another one. Okay, so another one here and here. Some of them might even need two pins, but I'm gonna go through them and figure it out. Did it make my hole? Did I make my hole? That strand in there. Pin it down. Get some soil, cover it up, anchor it up. One more strand, y'all. One more strand. If you're still watching, I appreciate your time, honestly. Because I'm just having fun in my garden. I hope that when you finish watching these videos, you wanna go outside into your own garden and do some new things with your 
cool plants. Okay, one more strand. And I'm just gonna see if it's all balanced out by having enough strands on the edge here. And gosh, this is just full. And I just need one more. So this one is eventually gonna trail over here. Should I just put it in the dead center? Because it's so heavy, it's one of those super heavy ones. So okay, I'm just gonna put it right into the center. Because I have no space in the edge anymore. It's gonna be my big daddy right here, right in the center. I have to cut it a little bit more. Come on, work with me. Okay. There's so many stems now in there that this one doesn't want to go in. And I don't want to break it. Okay, okay. I nudged it in. All right. Okay. So, check it out, guys. So like I said before, I will not be watering this about three to four days. I'll pick one of these strands out gently and see if it's nice and sealed and then I'll water it completely. But now you know the process of planting these types, these, this type of trailing sedum in a basket. And I'll watch it grow and let you know how it all goes down. Thank you for watching. Bye guys.